Thank you so much, Mindy from See Mindy Mom for putting on this collaboration. Hey guys, welcome to Homemade Homestead. My name is Rachel, if you're new around here. I'm so excited to be participating in this whole open collaboration. This is so fun and exciting to see everybody's different $5 dinner ideas. Mm. So today I was bouncing a couple ideas in my head and I thought, well, let me go to Walmart to because that's really the only store we have around here. But I have one other like, small town store who puts out an ad every week and sometimes I can catch some really good deals. So first, let's take a look at the ad and see if anything sparks something that's a great price on sale that we can incorporate in this $5 dinner. All right, here's my ad. There's some chicken that's 99 cents a pound that's bone in, but nothing too much. Eggs are a pretty good price. So this two day sale is interesting. It's, so it's Friday, Saturday. These tortillas are on for an amazing price, 79 cents for a 10 pack or an eight pack. I think I'll get the 10 pack. And let's see, oh, and then chicken. $1.49 a pound. So those two, I think I'm gonna stem off. And I think we're gonna make some chicken fajitas. So I will go pick up the chicken and these tortillas. I'll check out what other things they have in the store. And then we'll head up Walmart too. All right guys, I'm back from the store. I have our $1.49 of boneless skinless chicken breasts. I also picked up tortillas for 79 cents, and the rest of the produce was cheaper at Walmart. So I got one onion for 68 cents, one bell pepper. This was 77 cents, not the best price on bell peppers. I usually see them around 50 cents. And then iceberg lettuce. Now, the story with the lettuce is I could have grabbed a bag of iceberg chopped lettuce for 99 cents. This was $1.58, which put me a little bit over, but I'm not gonna use this whole head for just this meal. So it's one of those things where I had a way between the cost and also the quantity, because I didn't wanna spend just 99 cents to buy a little bag where I could get just so much more this way, and I'm going to be using this over the next few days anyway. So that's just something to consider. So my total came to $5.31 for all of these items. Again, this is just the cost where I live, and if you swap this out for just that little bag of lettuce, you could definitely be right there at the $5 mark. So first, let's chop up this chicken. So I like to take off the fat, just trim up these chicken breasts, and then I like to slice them in thin strips. Your cooking time is gonna vary by the thickness of your chicken. But while I'm doing this, I just wanted you guys to get to know me a little bit better. I do a lot of cooking content on this channel because I am a mom of three. I cook basically every meal all the time at home. We don't eat out much, so every meal gets created in our home. So we also have a huge garden and we like to raise most of our own meat. And I hope you guys will look around the channel and possibly subscribe if you wanna join our YouTube family. We would really love having you. So I'm just chopping up all of this chicken nice and thin. It stretches the meal further if you can cut the chicken a little bit thinner. And so I'm just laying it out on a sheet pan. Cooking this on a sheet pan is so nice and convenient because it's just all in one dish. I throw it in the oven and it's actually a pretty quick meal. So now I'm just chopping up a bell pepper. This was a green bell pepper, but it was starting to turn a little bit yellow because most bell peppers are actually either yellow or orange or even red and they're just not ripe all the way when we buy them in the store. So this one looks like it was a yellow bell pepper, so that's awesome. And now I like to chop it actually up into chunks. My family isn't a huge fan of the long strips, so I'm just doing it you know, to please the crowd. So I'm doing it in chunks. And I'm actually going to do the same with this onion as well. I like to cut off both ends to peel it. It makes it for easier peeling. And then cut it right down the middle. This is just how I cut an onion. And then I can peel off this skin very easily. I'm gonna chop this into chunks because again, I aim to please the family. <laughs> um, you could leave it in strips though because that is like the traditional way of eating a fajita is they have the peppers and the onions in strips. Do you guys like onions? We are pretty big onion fans here. We grew a ton of onions this year. We planted a thousand onions this year and we're still eating on them which is so lovely we've even dehydrated a bunch of them we make our own onion powder and you can totally buy one of those little fajita seasoning packets if you want to they're about 
50 to 60 cents depending on the store you go to. If that's in your budget, feel free to do that. What I found for me, because I'm gluten free, is they add some wheat in there and they also add a few extra ingredients. So instead, we're just gonna use our own. We're gonna use some onion powder, some garlic powder, some chili powder, some paprika. You could even do smoked paprika if you want to. And some cumin and salt and pepper. Sprinkle all this on here. I have a bad habit of taking off the lids to my seasonings because I'm just not patient enough to let it go through the little holes. But it, it works out pretty well for the most times. I'm just doing a little bit of this and that, a little bit of garlic powder, actually quite a bit of garlic and onion powder because my family loves those two spices. And that's one of the great things about cooking things from scratch at home is you can tailor it to what you, your family likes. You can get in here with your hands, but I, I just don't want to touch the raw meat again. <laughs> I know I'm weird like that. So I'm just gonna use some tongs and kind of just mix it around a little bit. Just make sure all those spices are touching the chicken. I'm gonna pop this into a 375 degree oven and I'm just gonna check it until the chicken is cooked through. I'll let you know how long that is. But you don't have to cook it in the oven. You could use your crock pot, just dump it all in there and let it go for a few hours on low and you're just waiting for your chicken to be done. Or your Instant Pot, but I chose the oven because it's already like 4.30 and I need to get this dinner a moving. So let's pop this in the oven. And excuse my dirty oven, we really live here and it gets messy sometimes. So now we're gonna work on our lettuce while the chicken and veggies are cooking up in the oven. And my mom worked in the service industry for a while. She worked at Cracker Barrel and she prepared their salads and she taught me this little trick of taking the whole head of iceberg lettuce and you give it a good whack on your cutting board just with that bottom end and you hit it down. And then the core just pulls right out. I go around it with my fingers, I kind of give it a good twist and the core comes out. Once I have that out, I like to take off some of the outer leaves if they look a little yucky and then I like to chop it up really finely. I like to throw it into my salad spinner and rinse it all off that way. Spin it dry. I love this salad spinner. We got it for our wedding almost 10 years ago and it has served us very well. Oh, and here it is right out of the oven. You can see the steam coming off of it. Doesn't that just look so good? This turned out really well. I just take a flour tortilla for the rest of the family and put some of that filling in there. It made a ton. And for me, being gluten-free, I always keep corn tortillas on hand, so I threw mine in a corn tortilla to work for me. But this fed a crowd. I mean, we had leftovers. So if you're feeding more than a family of five, I think this would definitely work. Well, if you guys want to spend a little bit more money, or maybe if you already have it in your pantry, freezer, or fridge, you could put some salsa on this, or some cheese, some Greek yogurt, like plain Greek yogurt, or sour cream, but it'll also be delightful just like this. Well, I hope you will give this I hope you guys will give this recipe a try and let me know if you do down below in the comment section. I think she's ready to have some too. <laughs> well, I hope you guys are having an awesome, wonderful day wherever you are. We'll talk to you again real soon. Bye-bye now. And we have a lot of lettuce left over, so I don't even think we used a dollar's worth. Well, this will be great for other meals throughout the week. Mm -hmm.